Good morning from Snake Mountain Boatworks on Monday, July 17. Standing before you is Knock on Wood, a 1968 20-foot Lyman runabout. Several years ago we did major work to her top sides, bottom, and transom. She's now back uh, originally for a, a uh, revarnishing, but as soon as RJ and I stripped this section of, of foredeck uh, plywood, we realized that it, it all was severely uh, delaminated, and in fact, I'm about 99% certain that is not an original sheet of plywood. I don't think any of it on the fore deck, the covering boards, or the aft deck are, are original. So our, our owners took a deep breath and gave us the green light to do it properly. Then all we had to do, that's the we that really is RJ, is simply remove these panels not knowing that they'd all been glued down. Take it from there, RJ. Um, a lot of times on these Lymans, when you pull the deck up, they have a very thin bead of glue actually gluing them to the frame. Sometimes they're not even glued at all, depending on who's worked on it. But um, I didn't think it was going to be that big of a deal. There's not many screws actually holding the panel in. There's none in the middle area here. So I figured there was at least a thin bead of glue, but after I released those screws, I tried uh, putting the chisel in and popping it up, and it really, really didn't want to come up. So I got under, crawled in here, and with the chisel from the bottom side, I pried on all these frames right here and loosely, or slowly popped panels loose. Um, from here, they were stuck down really, really good. Um, and then in the middle here, on the king plank, they were stuck down a lot better. So it was really hard to get them out of here. But, um, I got them off. And... The underneath is even delaminating. Spots. Yeah, it's pretty clear that's and not marine plywood. Into it. No, it wouldn't be falling apart like that. So, and then you turned your attention to the covering boards, and and yeah. that's when your fun really started, huh? Yeah. Um, John actually started on this covering board for a few minutes to see how it would pop up, and back all the screws out of this one and try to get it up and. It was bonded really, really well. So then I took the fine tool, which is this little tool, with a putty blade on it, and I went down each seam where this mahogany trim board meets the deck board, on the inside and the outside. From the outside, I could actually get through to where there's no glue, and it released it enough to where when I got in with this one, it only left half an, or three quarters of an inch of glue basically in here. And when I stuck my chisel in, I could pry up and it pop it up, but it takes quite a while to cut down through each seam here. Um, then I went to the back deck and basically did the same thing I did to the front deck, but there's a lot more framing in the back deck here with a lot more glue on it, so it came out pretty hard. And I haven't quite... You've got one covering board left to play with, right? Yeah, well I got, yep, this two pieces of plywood, but the gunnel board, the covering board. Yep. And this is just a little idea of how well that glue actually holds. So we'll actually have to take a the sander and boy you've got a, quite a ways to go through. Yeah it's almost full thickness. It's it almost full, full thickness, thickness right here. Yeah. Yeah. 
but I have my patterns that I can make my new deck out of. And we are uh, replacing this material with proper uh, marine grade mahogany. mahogany plywood. She's going to be just beautiful. Can't wait to get to that point, huh, RJ? Yep. Well, that's the update in the 1968 20-foot Lyman runabout. Thank you so much. Bye-bye for now from Snake Mountain Boatworks.